Alrighty, guys. So it is uh, 3.30 this Thursday, uh, March 28th, and we are finally getting to the end of the day. Not much is going on. Volume is super light. 800,000 contracts traded. That's just nothing. Finally got a little bit of lift here towards the end of the day, but not much to really get excited about. I mean, we went from 05 to 15, so it's like, oh, a 10-point move. Hooray. <laughs> not much to get all excited about, but at least it's to the upside. So that's a that's a good that's a good sign given that we're getting into a long weekend, right? That this market is at least moving higher, not selling off. We'll see if the holds going into the close though, but at this point, looks to me like we are in a move. In a range bound market, we are in stage three on that profile, and we're not going to uh, pretty much uh, go anywhere. Looking for a short against this 53, 20, 25, so rotations back down. And that's pretty much where we are right now. So, in a stage three between 52, 60 and 53, 20. And if they bust through the 53, 20, so I would look at that as a uh, I see a, a, just a temporary move. In, in other words, not going to be aggressive on the long side at this point. Looking for a failure to take out this edge for rotations back down again. So range bound trading going into the overnight. If anything, is starting off in Sunday night on this overnight, looking for maybe a retest of the highs. Depend where they close. If they close below the 53 tens, I'm just going to be range bound. If they close at or above the 53 tens, I'm going to be in a slight bias to the upside just to see if they can retest these highs, potentially take it higher. So that's the ES to get started. Looking at the uh, uh, bonds and NASDAQ. So the bonds uh, range bound right now. They were to the upside, but they're not a trade down below the 21, 2012. So basically range bound right now. They probe to the upside to the 120 20s, back down again. And at this point, we have range bound. If they close above 120 12, I'm going to be leaning long. If not, range bound trading going into the close, going into Sunday's trading. So at that point, looking to sell against the 120 12. Then looking to buy against the 120 or sixes, not very aggressively against those six, but 111, 119, 28, 29 would be the better level to get long against. Yes, if you're going to stay range bound. Uh, NASDAQ also flat out range bound, not much happening on that guy at all. The, uh, the ES is least bit to the after NASDAQ is just back in the middle. So range bound NASDAQ going into the overnight. Uh, you can see they were, they were trying to take it lower. As we said, we said here um, early on that. This day we were talking the last update, we were trading right around this area, slopping around. And look, there was a little long trade in there. It took you all the way up to the uh, 470s or 80s. Then they hammered it one more time. And they, every time you bought these failures to take it lower, one, two, they've been making money on each of them. Both of them it feels like they're going to take it lower, but they're not. It's the range bound market. That's, they look to for buying opportunity that not to get better trade location. You have to. Uh, at this point, it, this one is hard. This guy's a bit better. A nice little bar start trading high. You can get long around 460s. That would be a better trade. Just the trading the failure to take it lower. So, but at this point, we're just back to the mean. So, range bound trading on the NASDAQ going into the overnight. Look to fade the edges equally. I'm going to have put an edge here at 530s and at 560s, 65s, and one here at the 450s and at the 420s. Rotations back up. I'm going to start in that range at least to, in the overnight. Uh, finally, oil and gold. So we rolled gold to the uh, June expiration. All right, so we're trading uh, gold from the uh, long side of the market, definitely pop into the upside. And you can see how they are uh, extending. So far, with no retracement. My uh, uh, expectation that they may take out the 25 did not happen at all. They've been basically leaning, uh, stepping on the gas to the upside. So I'm making new highs all the way up to the 24, 2246s. So lean long, look to buy weakness at this point. It's going to be one edge here around about 20, 22.34. going to be one edge here at 22.26. And one down here at that single print at 22.20. Uh, 20, or 22.22. Or rotations back up again. Below that, below that single print, we may have problems. But at this point, starting from the long side, gold is on its way higher. And then finally, oil. So oil, I'm going basically going to uh, start from the long side. Looks like they were trying to take out the 83s. Yeah, at, at this up here, they're trying trying to test it. So far, they haven't really succeeded, but definitely up in that upper levels. So if you look at capital flow on oil, they are definitely. It uh, looks like we may have a move out of the middle starting. They haven't quite taken out the highs yet at 83, 10, 83 to 83, 10, but 
that happens in the next session, we may very well be in the high 80s very pretty quickly. So oil looks like they want to take us higher. So start that from the long side of the market, look to buy weakness. It's going to put an edge here at the uh, 83. It's going to put one here at the 82.75, one down here at 82.20s for rotation back up. So I'm going to adjust these a little bit going into next week's trading. All right. So there you have it. Um, oil and gold back to the ES. And so far, we are looking at a uh, market holding on to their highs. So watch the uh, 5310 level. If that's if they start trading below it, start thinking about a uh, more of a range bound market above it. Keep a slight bias to the upside. And on Nasdaq, we have flat out range bound. So we leave it there, guys. Market's closed tomorrow. So uh, you guys have a happy Easter, and I will see you back on Monday. Okay, guys. Later.